and welcome to a Ghost Alchemy video tutorial from me, Cheryl, and Handmade 2. This is my first video tutorial for Ghost Alchemy. I'm going to be making at least 12 over the next year, so always stop by the blog, that's ghostalchemy.wordpress.com, to look out for new video tutorials from me and my fellow video tutorialist, Elena. Now, today we're going to be looking at something very special to me. A few weeks from the time of making this video, I'll be having a big party, my wedding, and that ties in nicely with the fact that Ghost Alchemy are currently celebrating their three year anniversary, so it's really party all round. I'm going to show you how I made a few things that went into my bouquet using Ghost Alchemy products. I'm going to be making some flowers, first of all from this beautiful length of lacy ribbon. The ribbon can be bought in a variety pack that is by far the best value for money lace ribbon I've ever seen. Some foreign text paper and some music school paper and some outerless cardboard, all of which can be bought separately from Gauche Alchemy or you might find a sample or two in any of the kits that you buy. To make the ribbon flower, decide which edge of the ribbon you'd like to be the outer edge of your petals and start sewing on the other side. So what you want to do is gather the lace onto your needle and keep feeding the needle through. Obviously be careful not to break the needle or the cotton or stab yourself and make a few tight knots at the base once you've pulled it through, which will be quite difficult. You should end up with a kind of a floppy pom-pom like this. Now find the beginning of the lace and uh, start to roll it inwards so that it gathers concentrically. Keep holding onto it tight. Once you've done that, you'll need to sew. Sew through it, across it, right through it. Keep sewing until it's completely secure. It might not seem the most professional method, but it's because it's holy and slippery and quite difficult to secure. For the semi origami flower, um, it's not true origami because there's no glue involved, you'll need seven squares of paper and I'll show you how to fold them in just a second. I'll finish off with an easier flower. To make a rose, draw a spiral and then cut it out. Then take a quilling tool or a pencil if you don't have a quilling tool and roll the rose from the outside in around and around the tip of your tool or pencil until you get to the middle. This is where the magic happens. Let go and it'll unfurl. Not too much but just enough to get that look of the rose. Then you can glue the bottom bit in with a lot of uh, white glue and hold it in place for a while until it sticks down. So I'm going to finish off my bouquet by adding a few pieces of foliage. Now this is really simple. Just take some outerless cardboard and roll it up really, really tight and then secure it for an hour or so just to really, really make that curl hold in it. Once you're ready to start cutting, you can uh, unroll it and cut lengthways starting with a, a thin point and heading outwards ever so slightly. Then curl it up and to secure it fold the ends over and bend some floristry wire through the end there. And this is the finished article. So what did I use again? Let's see. There's that lovely aqua lace ribbon which comes in the lace ribbon variety pack, an excellent value kit. Some foreign text paper comes in the foreign text paper for mixed media kit. The music score paper comes from an acme kit. And there's outless cardboard which comes in a variety of shapes, colours and sizes. I also used some beads from the Envy Green and Scarlet Fever mixed media colour kits which are just so inspiring. Don't forget to check out the Gauche Alchemy blog for hundreds of other projects like this using all these kinds of mixed media products that you just can't get your hands on anywhere else. And while you're at it, take a look at my blog too. That's craft-thing.blogspot.com Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.